Today we're going over what's new in Microsoft Loop. We're going to dive into some of their newly released AI features that will help you to improve your writing, uh, enhance your pages and modify some of the processes you typically go through. So welcome, my name is Francesco. If you're watching this video and you're saying, what's Microsoft Loop? Well, you can jump over to Tool Finder to dive into Microsoft Loop and get a better idea of it. And you can explore Tool Finder in the link in the description for everything you need for productivity tools. So as you can imagine, Microsoft Loop has been around for a little bit of time. Now we've covered some of their more recent features, but they're back with some AI updates. And we're gonna go over what's new with this release that they've put out. The first of those is getting started uh, with pages. Obviously it's difficult when you start a blank page. So the new Copilot update allows you to really kick things off and produce structure. But what's slightly different about it is that it's multiplayer, meaning that once you create a Copilot, other people can start collaborating in essence so that you can put your entry in and then other people can use the prompts to improve whatever you've written. This makes it really interactive and much more collaborative, meaning that when a certain piece is finished, it's been multiple, multiple lots of edits from multiple people, uh, which is really interesting. And you can also go back and undo things if you think that you don't need a tone, but it's different because you get to see how other people are thinking around their prompting of the AI system. So in other updates, they also released uh, the ability to add a code block a few months ago, but they're adding this with AI. So now with Copilot, you can generate code blocks in multiple languages and also get full explanations about what is being added in those code blocks. This then can be turned into a loop component, which means more people can collaborate on it, or you can even copy the code out if you did want to. So other elements of Microsoft Copilot in loop allow you to see whether text attribution is based on Copilot or a human, which is really nice because you can see what's been generated by AI, what's been generated by your average Joe. There's also a new feature called Page Summarize, which allows you to summarize the contents of a page, um, sort of like getting a recap of what's on the page. A lot of people might add this to the top of their page to almost a TLDR to get a summary and it's almost pre-created so that you can start doing it straight away. You can also now create loop tables that now can be modified with the Copilot, meaning you can modify some of the columns as well in it and modifying what's in those tables uh, to really refine that based on what is in the page in loop. Editing content in Copilot will also become less blocky, meaning you can view it on the right hand side and get some improved, um, I guess some improved user interface with Copilot, meaning it's not always in your face and you see uh, updates and changes on the right hand side. Talking about updates and changes, there's a new function in Loop called Recap. Uh, the final one would talk about this, but it actually allows you to see changes that have been made. It will recap those changes so that everyone can see an update on what's happening and you can even edit those changes and add people that you think would like to know about the update. So obviously some of these are rolling out, some of these will be available soon, but Loop is definitely changing and pushing towards the OpenAI integration they've got uh, with Microsoft and OpenAI. So it's really interesting to see how this is going to evolve over the next couple of months and where Loop AI is heading. So thank you very much folks. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Loop AI's new changes and I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Again, if you're interested in finding a productivity tool in general, jump over to Toolfinder, you'll find everything there. Thank you very much and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.